and welcome back to another video on the channel. It's been about seven months overdue, but, well, I am still here. I am still alive. Don't worry. You don't need to panic any longer. But I can't really give a reason why I haven't uploaded in the past seven months. A lot has changed since then. Um, seven months ago, I had expectations of us finishing in Europe. Uh, now we're firm, firmly mid-table with loads of injuries, pretty much every single player either getting COVID or injury every single week. But luckily, luckily we're not in a precarious position anymore. We were a few months ago, but now we've put a few wins together and now it, it looks like we've, we've got a fourth consecutive season in the Premier League for the first time ever. Which is great. We all love Premier League football, and I think um, I think we've kind of taken it for granted. I think we've, uh, we've taken that privilege for granted over the past couple of seasons with the seasons we've had with the FA Cup semi-final, the Europa League quarter-final as well. Just amazing achievements, and then this season we've kind of at some points we we've gone up. And then at some points we've just been absolutely terrible and we just can't buy a win at all. I mean, I guess um, you, you can uh, count yourself lucky that, that I, I, you, you didn't get a video from me, in especially in the past few months, because all it would have been is just rages. And it wouldn't have been, it would have been, it probably would have been great content for you, great entertainment, but it probably wouldn't have been great fun for me and for my mental health either <laughs> just just absolutely raging at the camera but maybe that's something i should do maybe that, that is something i should do i i am um, live watch along to something my internet isn't very good so i don't know how it will be able to handle a live stream but i guess it's something i can have a go at considering that's probably the only way i'm gonna be able to make videos on this channel Considering how how lazy I can be at times, but we've got we've got Sheffield United tomorrow. Pretty much every single team team in the league has has been Sheffield United somewhere or another this season. So I was expecting it's going to be an easy three points. Obviously, well, obviously, you know the way we've been playing this season, no game is an easy game at all. But it was an absolutely fantastic win over Fulham on Friday and. I was very ecstatic. I was very ecstatic uh, for for a diamond show. All right, it's an absolutely brilliant finish and great way to to ha have a go at the the people that were uh, you know make, making fun of him uh, and uh, criticizing him um, over the past year or so. As apparently he's got no end product, even though yes, you could say he had no end products. Uh, the first season we had him, 2018-19, but especially um, summer of 2019 onwards, and you know, the last couple of seasons, he's just been immense with his with an end product. He really seemed to have he's really seemed to have grown with that, and he's got he's got a lot more assists. Um, and I mean, the the team as a whole, the team as a whole has a pretty poor season, and yet. Pete, yeah, and yet some people just sing, sing him out as a main culprit. So, oh, look at him. Look at Adama Traore. He's had no goal, goal involvements at all. Oh, he must be an absolutely terrible. When actually, yeah, we've just... We, we've kind of become more of a defensive team this season. And, I mean, that's kind of what we... That's kind of what we needed. Because, you know... I mean, look at Leeds, for example... At times this season, I've I've, I've wished that we ca we we could play a style of football like these, like you know, constantly positive, looking for for every uh, chance we can create and um, scoring as many goals as possible. But also, that would have gone disastrously wrong, disastrously wrong <laughs> if I can get my words out. It's very hard with this with this brace I have in now, but <laughs> yeah. That would have gone horribly wrong, and we probably would be in a real, real, real struggle to survive if we if we did that. Considering the amount of injuries we've had this season, and now our star player this season, which is, you know, many many Bulls fans have said have, have kept us in the Premier League, and I, 
uh, and I wholeheartedly agree, Pedro Neto is out for the season, which is, well, it's it's come it, it's it's still it's still gutting, but it's also come at a decent time as well because we're pretty much assured of safety, a couple more points just just to make sure, and we're pretty much guaranteed a full, full season in the Premier League. It's the injuries come at the right time. It, it would have been it would if it came a few weeks earlier, we would have thought, oh dear. We could be in for a rocky, rocky end to the season here, but thankfully, thankfully we've got got a few few wins together recently, uh, and we've gone on a, a decent run of form, and uh, we've managed to pull ourselves clear of danger. Ruben Neves has also tested positive for COVID as well, which is which is just. I mean, I I thought I thought this season was really so great. We we started with a two 0 win. At Bramall Lane, we played played brilliantly. Um, had a bit of, bit of suspicion at, at the four 0 away defeat to West Ham, but uh, apart from that, we started off smoothly. And I thought this was actually going to be another, another great season, but yeah, we just uh, we haven't had the luck. It's it's one of those where you just think, yeah, let's just write this off. We're safe, cool. Let's move on to next season uh, and just just think about the summer transfer window and how we're going to improve here. Ruben Neves, he hasn't really had his, his, the greatest of seasons either. Uh, I think I need, I think I need to do a separate video to be honest on on uh, at the end of the season, uh, ra racing um, all, all the players. I think Ruben Neves would have quite an not an extremely low rating. He hasn't been absolutely terrible, but. He hasn't had he hasn't had his best season, you know. Compared to, you know, it, it's it, it's quite tough on him because you know, the whole t the team as a whole has had a few great great years with the cha the championship title win, where you know he was one of the, the best players in that squad, um, and especially uh, that our first season back in the Premier League, he was equally as good then. So it's quite it's it's quite tough on him, but I don't think I I think. He need he needs to work in the summer to get back to his best. He ha he hasn't had his his best season, but hopefully he comes back stronger next season. I've rambled a lot. <laughs> I've rambled a lot. I'm back to my best. <laughs> I am back to my best. I've 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 rambled a lot in this video, and I've I've had I've had quite a, quite a lot of fun uh, qu making it. Um, so hopefully hopefully th this will motivate me to to make more consistent uploads now. I'll, uh, I'll I'll hopefully see you in a, in in, in a, a few days with the re with a review of the, the Sheffield United game, depending on what I decide to do because my brain can be absolutely unpredictable. Well, whatever it is, I'll see you then. Goodbye, guys.